Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to encrypt your home folders on your Linux machine. Encrypting your home folder is the only way of preventing somebody physically accessing your computer and being able to view the files on it. If you don't encrypt, then anyone who has physical access to your machine can insert a live Linux USB and view all the files in your home folder without the need for a password. There are of course downsides to encryption as well. For one, it can slightly slow down your machine, especially on the first boot after encryption but marginally after that as well and probably more importantly if you forget your password and the password you used was strong then it will be very very difficult to get your data back. The whole point of encryption is to make your data secure. Now some people encrypt the entire drive or an entire partition but that is a guide for another day. I prefer just to encrypt my home folders because realistically that is the only place I'm going to store anything personal to me. If you want to encrypt your folders follow these steps. So open a terminal window and type sudo apt install ecryptfs-utils and this is the encryption program we will be using to encrypt the home folders. Now install rsync by running sudo apt install rsync. Now you can't be logged in as your user whilst encrypting the folder because it's encrypting the folders that you're going to be using. So what I like to do here is simply create another user that also has sudo permissions and we will get rid of that user at the end. To do it this way type sudo user add minus m test. Now this creates a test user with all the home folders for that user. Now strictly speaking you don't need the home folders for that user but I find it's useful. So in this case test is the username so you can create whatever username you want but as we're going to be getting rid of the user at the end you may as well just use test. So the next thing to do is set a password for test and you do that by typing sudo password test. Now enter the password you want to associate with test and repeat it. Now test needs sudo permissions so we can do that by typing sudo user mod minus a capital G space sudo space test. Now that the test user has been created you can close out of the terminal and log out to the login screen and then you need to log in as the test user. When you are logged in as the test user open a terminal window. Now type sudo ecryptfs hyphen migrate hyphen home space minus u space user and user here is your username so in my case it's ecryptfs hyphen migrate hyphen at home space hyphen u space Gary. I now need to enter a password to use as the encryption password. Once I've done this all the files and folders in my home folder are now being encrypted and when it is finished I can simply close the terminal and log back out to the login screen. What you don't want to do here is reboot you want to log in you just want to log out to the uh, login screen and log back in it as your user. The reason for this is if the process fails you can copy the backup directory it's created back to being home Gary and use it and forget all about the encryption. So make sure you can log in as your user, i.e. in my case Gary. So if everything works and it will be a bit slow on the first time you log in, uh, if everything works you can open up a terminal and type ecryptfs hyphen unwrap hyphen passphrase and this gives you a key so what you want to do is copy the results of that and put it in a file and store it somewhere that you won't lose it not on the machine that's encrypted because you need it if you can't get in after the encryption so what I would do is store it somewhere safe now the last thing to do is remove the test user and we can do that by typing sudo space user del space test and that's it that user is now removed and your drive is encrypted and that is the end of the video if you like it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button see you next time on everyday linux user